everybody and uh, welcome back to my vlog, to my channel. And today uh, we've got a, a kit to build. Now, before I get too far into what this is, uh, we're going to take a peek at it on the screen. So over here, we can see that it's a re-engraved British classic audio amplifier. The Quad 606 power amplifier board. 125 watt into 8 ohms, 250 watt into 4 ohms, classic post amplifier. Alright, it's got a 4.9 on 21, 21 views. Um, we have a few images of it here. So you can put the transistors on the top, on the bottom. I think the heat sink comes with it, we'll find out in a minute. Uh, let's see what it says down here very quickly. Nope. So we got here clone the British, the classic British Quad 606 power amplifier. Quad 606 is a new amplifier from Quad Gudu uh, in the UK. It is upgraded version of the Quad 405. Parameters, power supply in. We got plus minus 25 volts to plus minus 55 volt, recommended voltage is plus minus 45 volts, output power 125 watts, yeah we just did that. Frequency response, now this ASSYS thing, I looked it up and it, it's like some sort of development thing in France, so I'm not sure what this is. Uh, two test day, 20 hertz, 0 dB, wow, really? At 20 hertz, it's 0 dB. 10 kilohertz, uh, minus 0.3. Um, 10 hertz, sorry, minus 0.3, really? No, 10 kilohertz, minus 0 0.01, sorry, 0 0.01, minus 0 0.01, 20 kilohertz, minus 0.3 dB. Total harmonic distortion and noise is less than 0.01%. Uh, ma the ma magnification, the gain, is 51.5 times. That's a lot of gain. Output stage quiescent current is 0 milliamps. Really? Oh, yeah, monostatic current. I think they, I don't know if they got this the wrong way around or whatever. There's quiescent current, about 100 milliamps. Quite a lot of quiescent current. The recommended radiator for each chart is greater than 500 grams voltage plus minus 45. Uh, using the operational amplifier TLC271 high performance op amp. Output transistors are six original Huey semiconductor. Original Huey. Huawei. Huawei. Uh, two, uh, uh, two SD seven one eights. Okay, and there's some images of the kit. Nice coil. Not quite sure. Now, listen. I think all we ought to do now is just get stuck into having a look. The imagery looks quite nice. Oh, some doctor there. No one there. Visualization on the size. Okay, you put the transistors underneath if you want to. Alright, so that's what we got. Okay, we got a little bit of uh, information here. So what's this? This is at a 2.8. Let me see if I can just make that a bit bigger. Whoa. Where did we go? What does that say? That says 2 kilohertz, basically. And this one, I'm not sure, this is trying to show the magnification. There's the channel input and the channel output. Now again, on the square wave input and output. Um, Slow rate. What we got going on here then? Okay. Oh look, look. This is the quad seven oh seven. 
LJM, quad 707. We're looking at the quad 606, but it's given us the 707. Let's just double check that in case on. Hmm, quad 606. All right, so we've got the quad 606. They're advertising. Uh, oh yeah, it says it here as well. How did I miss that? 707. So all this then is just uh, nonsense because it doesn't go with the amplifier that we're looking at. All right, so I wonder how much more of it is going to... <laughs> you got to love them. you got to love them. <laughs> I wonder how much more of it is nonsense. Because that's all, look, it says it there, big, massive quad 707. How do they make mistakes on this? I've got no idea. For a thesis, a bet can hardly be done and intend on an... Um, the Koto well bought a lot of forest. <laughs> Obviously, the translation thing isn't as good as what um, what we might like. So anyway, that's like this. this yeah, lovely, good seller. Thanks. Built my hi-fi streaming amplifier. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Right. So uh, forgive the pajama type things. Uh, let's get this open. So yeah, it just comes in a, well the box is nice, so that's always good that it's pretty well packed. And this uh, 909 606 we're going to take it as. Oh, let's, get a, let's get a bladed article for this. Oh great. I don't seem to have a bladed article to hand. Mm. Sorry about the noise. And I, but I think I just busted open from this end because it might be easier. Or not. Of course it might be. Just to try and clear up the noise my nose. Surely a pair of scissors something somewhere. What have I done with these things? Alright. I'll have to use some. This is the only way. There we go. That was the way. Oh, okay, so they're not drilled. That could have been handy if they were drilled. But. No. A couple of bits of. 90 degree aluminium. Oh, right. Now we're not going to look up all the transistors or anything like that, but we can do. Let's just take a peek at these. I can't even see what it says on there. Seven one one over six. A lot of components. Those are little op amps. Have to gently sort that out. I can't remember what he said the op amp was gonna be. Oh okay. yeah. So, 271 TLC 271, that is that. What we got here? Says Nichicon. Says Nichicon. Legs are nice and bleeds even. And they are. Bit of Nichicon there. It's always nice, and these are 5 watt 0 0.1 ohms. I do prefer these over to the blue ones. You know those little blue ones that you can get. I much prefer these. Well, those are uh, inductors. Hmm. And that's inductors. 4R7, so maybe they're not inductors. They wouldn't really have 4R7 on an inductor, would you? Resistor, but 
Let's take a peek at the board. Have we got anything written on the back? No, not really. Uh, we've got a couple of these splodgy bits covering something up. But we don't have any LJ. Oh, there we go. There we go, look, LJM. Quad 606. Oh, a little panda. No, that is an inductor. Oh, it's got L there. Mm -hmm. Still nice. I do like these boards. Not a through hole for the output transistors. Just looking for the ground, there it is. So the ground's going to be shared with the speaker ground and the um, underground for the plus minus, so that'll be connected to that as well. Everything to the same spot, which is pretty good anyway. Unless you're going to bring spots together. All right, well, there we go. Um, I'd order these. That's a 718 718 718 Oh, can't see it 718 718 718 718 there's a lot of four on each, so it should be eight. One, two, six, isn't it? Six, seven. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we got uh, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think there's anywhere that we can put another. We can't put four on one side and four on the other. That's not going to do it. Then these are all seven one eights, right? Ah, uh, they do have some alternates on there. Oh, I like these. Oh, they're just capacitors. Thought they were transistors for a second, but there's only two leads, so. Um, there are some alternatives that can go on there. You can see that. But there doesn't seem to be any way of getting five on one of these. Not, not, not that I can see straight off, maybe you can. But I can't. 718, 718, 718, 718. Yep, yeah, nope. All right, well, I do like these as well. And the diodes seem quite nice. I don't know which ones they are, but they're uh, nice and thick. They're not um, 48, uh, 41, 48, that's for sure. They seem to have. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, I'm going to give it bits away. A whole bunch of diodes here. Can't see what they are. So I'm not sure why we've got extras on stuff. I don't normally don't like that on my life, not more. No way. Let me just check again. Oh my life. 
So we've got an actual fax for these transistors, these output transistors. They are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okie dokie. Mm. Well, that seems like a mistake, and I'm just hoping now there's not other mistakes made. Like being short of stuff. So we've got four there, and we should have five for a side. And that's, let me just check. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six there. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, five. Six wall. All right, so at least we know we got the right amount of them. Of course, you know, I'm not going to count every single component here now. Um, because that would just be annoying. But as I build it, I'll realise if I haven't or not got, got all the components that I needed. Oh, that's slightly pulled apart there. I wonder what it's like on the other one because it's exactly the same. That's good, but no, that's uh, all compressed there. Um, Oh, well, um, we've got the two op amps. All right, well, I'm going to sort of just assume and hopefully that everything's there. Uh, we've got some, I don't know, there's more of. This doesn't normally happen. And what you want, or need, I should say. They look nice little caps, don't they? I don't know. I like the colour. <laughs> I don't suppose it's going to make much difference though, the colour. So, well, let's let's see what it's like. We're going to, I'm going to put it together. I'm not going to do it on camera, of course. I'll do that and we'll, then I'll um, show you in the next video what it's like and how it performs. Uh, but hopefully we've got all the bits, especially bits like this, because I don't have any spares of these. And I really do need to get some, because I'm missing one off a... Of her board, must have dropped it somewhere, vacuumed it up, probably. All right, guys, well, that's it. So this is the Quad 606 clone um, remake, whatever, by um, by JLM, L -L -L -J -M. again. And uh, not been too disappointed with any of his stuff, so, or hers, I've got no idea, the, that part of things. Um, so... Yeah, we'll have to just see what it's like. Thanks for watching if you got this far. And uh, well, I'll catch you when it's built up and we'll give it a go. Bye for now.